Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do a painting without any cuts. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a little bit of blue. And we'll come right up here to the top and just drop in a nice little sky. And let it blend down to about there. Now I'm going to grab a clean brush and go into some red. And put that right about here. Just like that. Let them blend up. But don't, don't touch them together yet. And a little bit more red. And let's have some water right here. A little bit of water. Just like that. Now we can blend these two colors together. Just like this with big X's. Let them get nice and soft. Just like that. Kind of try and kill that hard edge in there. And we'll blend like that. Alright, now let's grab a fan brush and a little bit of black and red. And I'm going to paint some clouds, just with tiny little circles, like that. This is just the shadow, and we'll come back and highlight, make them real shiny, maybe one up here, just like that. Grab a clean brush and a little bit of white and maybe some red. Kind of make a nice pink color. And I'm going to highlight the bottom of these clouds. Just like that. Just tapping, because here's our light source. Just give them a little bit of highlight. Now, with a clean brush, we're going to blend very lightly. Kind of fluff them up a little. Just make them look soft. There we go. That's about all we need for our little sky. Now let's do a mountain. I'm going to grab the knife and some black. Maybe a little bit of red. And let's do our big peak right there. Just drop it in. And maybe one right there. I'm just blocking in the dark part. And we'll come back and smooth it all out and add some highlight later. There we go. Back to a brush and pull it out. Just grab it and move it around. No big deal. Make it look very soft and misty at the bottom. Just like that. Now, Let's grab some white and highlight this mountain. I'm gonna come up and whoop, try that again. Come up and let the knife float right down. No pressure at all. Let the paint break. Just let it break all the way down. And there's another right there. And there's one right there. And a little bit, just on that peak right there. Maybe that mountain kind of wraps around like that. Now, I'm going to grab some blue and white. And we'll drop in a shadow. Just like that. Maybe a little bit right there. Here's some snow right back there. Just a little. You don't need too much. And we do want it to break like this. Do you want it to break? There. Now, let's give a little bit of shadow to this one. Right here. And some highlight right there. Just let it go. We want all that breaking. Make it look nice. Little shadow right there. Now let's add some mist. I'm going to grab a clean brush and tap the bottom of the mountain. That'll give us some mist. And we'll 
lift up following the angles. Just lift it right up. And that's all it takes to make a little misty spot at the bottom there. Let's add some trees. For that I'm going to grab a fan brush and some black and red and some blue. And grab a little bit of white. Lighten it up a little. A little bit more white. And let's do let's do a pine tree right there. And I just touch and push up. Just like that. Create a nice little pine tree. Maybe there's a few distant pine trees like this. Just using the top corner of the brush and kind of tapping just to suggest some trees in the background. I'm even going to lift up just like that. There's some. And there's some more. Grab a little bit more color. Let's put some detail into another one. Just a few little limbs. There we go. There's one. All right. And pull a little of that color down, reflect it into the water, clean brush, and we'll go across lightly. Grab a little of the color and move it around, just like that, no big deal. All right, now let's grab, I guess we'll grab the fan brush, go into some real dark black, very dark. Let's make some close trees. There's one. We'll just push up. Take the brush and bend it up. There we go. There's one. There's another right there. Just let them go. There they are. You want these trees to be very, very dark though, because these are close. So we want a lot of dark, and then we're going to come back and highlight. Then they'll stand out. Okay, maybe just a little something going on back there. Maybe we'll make a big one, just like this. And we'll separate them with highlights, no big deal. One right there. Push up. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of color there. I want a bush there, so we'll turn that into a bush later. Okay, that was good. Now let's do... Let's do a big pine tree right there. Just a big pine tree. Just start like that. Maybe he goes right off the canvas. There we go. Just push up. Always pushing up. But look how dark he is. It's so important that we get our pine trees very dark. At least the ones in the foreground. Because then they'll look close. If you made them light, then they're going to look like they're far away. There we go, right over the mountain. And just bring him down, no big deal. There we go. Just smashing in the dark color, not too worried. Yeah, that's probably far enough right there. Maybe make him a little darker. Just like that. Alright, now let's grab a one inch brush. And go through some white and a little bit of red. White and red. Okay, let's highlight some bushes here. Just push, touch, and leave some dark at the bottom. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of thinner, make the paint thinner, so it'll stick. There we go. Just like that. And maybe a little right there. Okay. Now we can highlight our evergreens. A little bit of white on the brush. And we'll just tap. Just tap. Leave some dark at the bottom. And dark in between the limbs, too. Just like that. There's some. We don't want too much. These are still not the closest. We'll put a little more detail on this one. Just like this. Just tap. Leave a lot of dark in your tree. It's so important that you leave dark. That's what gives your tree a lot of distance and form and shape. So it doesn't look flat. 
if you're going to come through here and highlight the whole thing white, it's going to look flat. I'll just drop those in like that. There we go. Just a few. Let it get darker down there at the bottom. All right. Now, we'll grab some dark color. And, well, actually, let's give him a little better top there. That's a little better. Now, let's take some of that color, pull it down like that. Gives us something to reflect, just like before. Pull across, make it look nice and soft. In fact, if you want to get real fancy, back to that brush with the white. And there's our bush, reflected right into the water. There we go. Now, this is really very light. Hit it a couple times and get away from it. That's all we want, just a little bit. Just like that. All right, let's grab a one-inch brush, and there's some black, blue, brown, and red. Very dark. Let's make some land right here. I'm just going to punch it in like that. There we go. This has to be extremely dark, though. We're going to highlight, and then it'll stand out. All right, looks pretty good. Maybe form a couple of bushes there. See that? Some bushes happening there now. Alright, let's highlight those bushes. A little more white and go right through that white and red. Okay, get that nice pink color and we'll put some highlight on these bushes, really make them sparkle like maybe some of that sunlight's reflecting off of these frosty bushes. Now, be very, very careful to leave some dark at the bottom of your bush. That's so important. Leave the dark. There we go. Maybe put some right there. You know what? Let's put some snow there. Take a little white on the knife. And maybe there's some snow right there. Just like we're doing a mountain. Just let it go. Back to the brush. And we'll bush up around it. Kind of push it right back. There we go. Kill that edge there. We don't want any hard edges in, in our paintings. And maybe one bush right there. Alright, tell you what. Let's pull off this contact paper and look at our oval. Look at that. And there's your painting right there. Now that's pretty good right there. That's not bad. But there's a little bit of tape still stuck on there. That's okay. It would look a little bit neater if we took this pine tree and extended it right off. Look at that. It's kind of a cool finishing touch when one of your trees is totally out of the boundaries. Just like that. Totally break up that oval. A little bit of dark color there. Just like that. And kind of let them fade right back into the oval there. Maybe break up that edge a little. There we go. Alright. Back to the white. And we'll fix our bushes that we kind of messed up. Just like that. So I hope you had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy these unedited paintings. I'm going to be doing some more videos soon. Don't forget to check out my website. And thanks for watching.